Hey guys, what's up? My name's Dutch and welcome back to the next Make Gears Great Again episode. This video is about veterans and new players, and especially how you could help and understand one another's goals. Like I mentioned in the previous episode, Gears of War used to be played in a very different way than it is today. If you're a new player to multiplayer, chances are you've experienced any of the following. Going 0 kills and 10 deaths in TDM almost every single game. Going 0 kills and 30 deaths in King of the Hill every single game. Going, well, you get the point. But the veterans on the other hand, we've all had very high scores against one another. Even against your equally skilled opponents. And why is this? I believe it's because the middle ground you create when you finally get to compete on equal footing. When you're a veteran of the series, especially multiplayer, I imagine you're a lot like myself. You've grinded endless hours on any of the games and learned all the tricks and moves way before there were any tutorials. So you faced off against a lot of actual competition and not your everyday gamer. But where is the point in all of this nowadays if it's not fun or challenging for either team? I hear a lot of veterans say they still play Gears today because they enjoy it. But at the same time, they're not very excited to meet, play with, or teach others the ropes of the game so a new generation of Gears players can be formed. So this is where I'd like to come in and propose a pro bono deal. If you're a veteran of this series, and feel as if the game isn't living up to the potential it can be, start attempting to help at least one player every week or month depending how much time you can invest in. Coach them if you have to. Show them not only how to do things, but why. Remember, learning why it's important to improve is more important to a learning process than any external gain. And take it from me, there's nothing better for a coach than seeing whoever he or she's helping to reach a goal they thought they couldn't. Now many of us started from scratch in the game, and if you've ever analyzed anything in your matches, you've probably figured out ways that you could have learned things better. So share this with anybody willing to learn, because it'll motivate the hard body mindset instead of the weak little runs that teabag every game. You know, this isn't 2007 Halo, this is 2016. Gears of War, and we don't take that fucking shit. Now on to the new players of the multiplayer. My first advice to you is do not quit and fight back. Gears of War is a game, at least in the past, that rewards the strong and neglects the weak willed. You cannot be afraid to step into the fray on Gears of War. You have to fight back or you'll be steamrolled every time. Those of you that have played Dark Souls, I know you get what I'm saying. If you've watched the first Make Gears Great Again episode, where I talk about mentality, you'll be introduced to setting goals and not worrying about your KD, win-loss, etc. The reason for this is simple. The only practice you're going to get are the matches itself. There are no practice arenas. There are no tutorial missions for any of these things. You can't practice these things on bots because bots don't play as players do. So make every match count from this moment on. I will cover the specifics of tracking your skill progression in a 30 video, but I trust you understand at least the concept of this idea. Start small. For example, learn how to properly move around the map, even if there are enemies in the way. Don't be scared to die because it's just a game. Nobody cares but yourself on what the point is of playing. There used to be thousands of players making new accounts just so they could show off a KD in win loss that was only high because they played a few matches and won those or played in a team from the moment they made the account. There are no easy ways of improving in Gears. You have to fill the required amounts till your brain finally makes the right connections. Every player that's ever neglecting failing ne discovered down the road that it's the failing that made it worth learning in the first place. So don't quit no matter what. Today there is a thick line that separates many of us, veterans and newer players alike. Even one of us succeeds at teaching one another, it can and will cause a ripple effect. So let's join forces and make Gears great again.
That concludes this episode. Make sure you leave your ideas in the comment section on what we could do to engage in teaching rather than neglecting because learning is fun and neglecting is for pussies. My name's Dutch and I'd like to thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.